Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a fun video today. I was tagged by my friend Julie at A Beautiful Horizon and I'm doing a Christian mama tag video. That's why I'm wearing my, my mom and shirt because this video we're gonna get real about motherhood and kind of get to know me as a mom a little bit more. So stick around, hit that like button. As I'm answering questions, feel free to answer them yourself in the comments. And here we go. First question is, are you a stay at home mom, work at home mom, or working mom? I am a work at home mom. So I work as a graphic designer, media person for my church. And then I also do some freelancing graphic design work. So that's been interesting. Working at home has been a really big challenge. All of the different things that you would think would be challenges like getting the kids down for naps, how do I entertain them, how, you know, how do we do life while working at home has been something I've been kind of figuring out for the last four years since I've become a mom. I guess almost five years. Next question is, tell us about your kids, how many, how old, and names. So I have two girls. I have Lila, who is four years old, and Everly, who is two. So yeah, two little girls and we love them. They're so much fun. How many kids do we plan on having? I don't know. I have always felt like an even number would be like help my OCD. So I feel like four, but that feels like a lot right now. So I don't know, maybe we'll see three, four. I feel like we, we probably do want another kid at some point. So I'll say four. Watch, we're gonna have like eight kids have our own TV show. What are some of your favorite Christian mama resources? So I am an avid podcaster. I'm literally just gonna go into my podcast app and scroll through. I have like so many podcasts I love. I have a list podcast is amazing. Let's see what else do I love. In It Together, that's another podcast that is really a great mom resource. Uh, Modern Homemaking, that's another one. Risen Motherhood. I'll, I'll put a list so you can just like look at the list below. The Better Life, I love Kelsey Van Kirk, she's awesome. And what else? Uh, the Purpose Show, Ali Casaza, and uh, Parenting, Parenting Great Kids by Meg Meeker. I cannot recommend this one enough. That one is for sure a lifesaver for me. I love that one. Okay, the next question is, what's your favorite verse right now? My current verse that I've been thinking about today literally read it this morning. 2 Timothy 2, 19 says, Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm, sealed with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are his, and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness. And specifically, the Lord knows those who are his. So he knows me, and he called me, and it just gives me so much peace knowing that I am known and loved by God. So that would be my current verse that I'm loving right now. What are you loving? Leave a comment. Tell me your favorite verse right now. I would love to know that. Next question, something God is teaching me through motherhood. <clears throat> He's teaching me what he values, what he thinks a good, purposeful, big life is. Not what the world thinks it is, not what I would think it is, but what his definition of it is. And it's loving people, loving God and being loved by God. And that is just a reminder over and over in a world where I can't keep up because I have to take care of other humans. It makes me pause and think my purpose isn't to keep up, but instead it's about loving the one right in front of me and giving and sacrificing, being as selfless as I can, following his example. And so he's teaching me to value the things that he values and to call um, a good life what he calls a good life, which is a, a poured out life, a life loving others. Next question, what is something I enjoy doing that doesn't involve my kids? So many things. <laughs> I love hanging out with friends. I love going on day trips. I love, um, I love writing music. I love playing music. I love shopping. I like doing that by myself <laughs> because shopping with kids is just like, it's next level. It's next level motherhood. I don't know if I'm there yet. I like reading and watching movies and hanging out with my husband. What is my favorite thing to do with my kids? I love dancing with my kids. They love it too. We love singing together, doing music together. I also love going out of the house with them and like making memories. I feel like it's easier for me to 
since I work from home and, and you know, just all the things you need to do as a mom, I get caught up in, in working when I'm at home and I'm trying to break that habit. But right now what's easiest for me to get really present with my kids is to leave the house and go to Chick-fil-A and instead of just using that time to stare at my phone, like engaging with them in, in their play or going to the splash pad and really trying to, you know, wear my bathing suit and actually go in with them. Stuff like that has been really, really life-giving. Number nine, a favorite memory with my kids. I remember with Lila, I watched the movie Cinderella and if you've seen it, the live movie Cinderella, she has such a kind heart in the movie and her mom, the way her mom spoke over her, which is words of life that she held on to and it like kept her character intact and it just gave me so such a vision for motherhood and at this time Lila was like seven months old and I kind of fell in love with being a mother through watching that movie if you've seen it it like makes you ball your eyes out but I came home and I was just singing a little song in the movie over her and as she fell asleep she was just smiling and closing her eyes and she fell asleep and it was like it's burned into my brain as one of the sweetest moments that I have with her do you have a favorite memory with me? Playing. Playing? What? What's your favorite thing to play? My little pony. My little pony. Yes, that's been the obsession for like a year, huh? My sweetie pie. One thing I do to stay motivated as a mom, I try to catch a vision. I try to catch the vision of motherhood and whether that's going to a workshop, reading a book, bringing more intentionality to that area, talking with a mom that I really respect at church and getting her thoughts on motherhood. I try to just like reinvigorate that part of my life and get a get a vision for it, catch the vision for it. One thing I pray over my children constantly, I pray it over them every night. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but he's given you a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. So I just pray over them. Lord, I pray that you would give them a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind, and that they would know you and love you and follow you all the days of their life. A piece of encouragement for moms, this is something I'm really learning and leaning into lately. Instead of casting, just casting a big vision for what you wanna do with your life, cast a big vision for your role as mom. Cast a bigger vision for what kind of impact you can make on your kids, what kind of relationship you can have with your kids, what kind of future relationships you can have with your kids. And from that place of vision, you'll get so much more energy and motivation during the day because you're not just getting through the day, you have a big vision for what you're accomplishing. And also remember that love covers a multitude of sin and that applies to the relationship with your kids too. Like love will cover a multitude of mistakes. You're loving them, you're, you're saying sorry, getting on your knees, you didn't wanna parent that way, you just apologize and move forward and that love is gonna cover a multitude of mistakes. This was so much fun. Thank you, Julie, for tagging me. I can't wait to see your videos, Brie and Sienna. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see my face more in your subscription feed. Also, hit the bell button. You'll be notified of all of my videos when I upload them. I love ya. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.